The way that a lot of research is going now is big science. It's projects that are gathering large amounts of data. Now for some things they can be analysed with a computer, you can get programmes that will analyse that kind of data, but for other things you need a human eye and a human brain. There's one group pretty adept at spotting patterns in data, gamers. That's where a game like ours really comes in because people are playing a game, it's a good fun game that will be a good gaming experience, but you're also analysing real cancer research data. Genes in Space is a mobile app where players chart a route, then embark on a space adventure. At the same time, they're spotting errors in the DNA of cancer patients. We only have a limited number of scientists, and they only have a limited number of time. But what we thought we could do was get thousands of people to play the game, analyse the data. So when do you want us to be playing this game? Is it going to be on the tube? Is it going to be on our way to work? The idea is it's basically something you can do in your downtime if we can get enough people looking at the same data again and again in a, a very large scale, this could really work. Players of online game Fold It in three weeks solved a problem researchers had been working on for 13 years. Philo might look like Tetris but players are actually working on aligning DNA code to help understand genetic diseases. This route mapping is actually the bit where I'm doing my, playing my part as a gamer. So now I'm whirring through space. But the graphics are fantastic on this, that has to be said. And, oh, I look like I've just been destroyed, but in fact my harvesting is complete. And I'm engaging warp in two, one, go. That's pretty cool.